People of Earth, welcome to Magikarp and Chips. I am Mike, your friendly Canadian Pokemon guy. A, and I'm super excited for today's video because today, my friends, my Pokemon friends, we are getting some pulls. I like last video, and thanks anyone who sat through last video. I had to put it up. I paid for the cards. I made. I took the time. I edited it. I edited it. I might as well. I might as well throw it up. Anyway, it's up there, but today we're getting pulls because I have with me the latest and greatest, the Rebel Clash Elite Trainer Box. Let me just pull this camera up here and let's look at it in all its glory with its beautiful, look at that embossed writing. You can see the reflection of my light there. Oh, beautiful color scheme on that. Love it. And for funsies, just a little three pack blister pack. I needed to get to $50 to get free shipping from Zephyr Epic. Zephyr Epic, by the way, super cool website. They're not a sponsor or anything. I just, they seem like super nice people. They've been awesome to deal with. Shipping's always been amazingly fast. ZephyrEpic.com, go check them out. I like to support Canadian businesses, why not? Um, I did get the Rayquaza right there. Boom, 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 boom. Beautiful card, but before we get into that, just because um, that's a little extra, let us open this bad boy here. The, I should have got we're going to have to sit through some awkward opening. How you doing? How you keeping? How are you and your family during all this? How, uh, how have you been staving off the boredom? Have you been trying anything new? Have you taken up any new hobbies? Or are you just opening non-stop cards? Just pull after pull after pull. It's so easy to online shop and it's so easy to just continuously get new stuff all the time. You can just have like another shipment every other day. Might, might as well. Might as well. If you got the dough, do it. Um... Rebel Clash, the newest set. This is my first time opening up anything Rebel Clash at this point. Oh, I love looking at the inside, but I'll, I'll, I'll pry that apart and look at it later. If you don't have an Elite Trainer box, uh, let's see if you can see it on this. Oh, I opened it up already. Um, but there is like a... See in there? There's art in there. So if you do get yourself an Elite Trainer box, make sure you don't just chuck this out right away. Open it up because it's beautiful on the inside. I'll have to look at that later. We have ourselves the Rebel Clash Player's Guide here. We won't look too closely at it. We all know how to play, right? Right? As I'm distracted here by my cat licking clean dishes that I've already cleaned. She loves me, or so she says. Um, beautiful, beautiful art in this set. Like, just like... Um, Sword and Shield was gorgeous, and this is this is no different. I don't like some of these weird kind of like polygon. I mean, he looks like a Disney character, so that's kind of cool. Um, big cards for this set. So I hear this Golden Frost Moth's beautiful. Any of these full art hyper rare trainers. Um, I really want Berserker. The, the Secret Rare Berserker is that's the one I'm chasing specifically. Um, and then Boss's Orders is said to be the best uh, card in the set. So, let's get into her here. Beautiful box. I'll just pull this up again just so we can see. I love that they're embossing stuff for Sword and Shield. Just that extra little bit of class. I always say, Pokemon stuff is expensive, but you get what you pay for. Now, let's look at what... Look at this. Let's dip in here together. What's this? Oh, a little rule book. That's cool. Yeah, all right. For people who don't know how to play, why not? And then, uh, why not? Evolves into Wobbuffet. Get it? Here, we can look, look at that. You've got your sleeves. I'm going to open these right now because I know we are going to need these today. I got a feeling. We got 11 packs in total to open. We're going to need them. Not super psyched with the way these came. They're a little, in a little bit of rough shape, but whatever. They're nice looking. Sticky as all get out. They suck to play with. So I recommend using these just to keep your cards safe. Of course, you've got the... Um, Acrylic uh, poison and burn things there, the, 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 the indicators there. You got your dividers, you got your big pack of energy. You got the code for the whole box there. Um, oh, God, I love, I only started using dice as uh, damage counters very recently. And I got to say, way better than the, the cardboard tiles. That's it, that's in there. And we got ourselves, oh yes. Oh yes, eight packs of Rebel Clash. One of each pack are Toxtricity, Inteleon, uh, Cinderace, pardon me. We've got Rillaboom. Yeah, one of each, one of each twice. Perfect, that's two of each, kids. Stay in school, 
and do proper math. I'm just going to move over here a little bit just so my light. Perfect. Let's get into it. Let's start with Rillaboom here. He is my favorite of the three starters. Um, arguably the coolest of the three, although Inteleon is very quickly growing on me. I, I've yet to see Cinderace in an art form that I really like that much. Um, here's the code for that pack there. But m maybe maybe that'll change. Um, four to the front here. Once, once I start seeing, I've really wanted to be seeing there's a dark energy. Um, I've been wanting to see the, the 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 legendary dogs in like proper comic book art, and we see Zamazenta and and I think this is Ashian. That like look at that regular two D art instead of just the game three D art that I'm not a huge fan of. Um, so that's super exciting. I would like to see Cinderace in that kind of style too. Something that that looks a little nicer than what I've been seeing. Um, Twin Energy to start it off. Heliolisk. That reminds me of that. You ever seen that video where the snakes are chasing that like baby lizard that's just been born? This is that. That's that in a nutshell. The Blade. The Blade. Coughing. That's just blatantly and maybe the most egregious art of coughing just ever. He's just straight up cutting a fart. Like he's even got the lean going there. Come on. Bronzor. I'm looking at the disc in the mirror. Am I going to get? I'm not monetized. It doesn't matter. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, Toxel. Litwick either in a... Uh, one of those mirror mazes, or he's just found some friends. That reminds me of the very first Mario Party. These are, they feel thicker. Are they thicker? The cards feel a little thicker. The very first Mario Party game, do you remember that? Where you had to stand in the middle of all the boos, and they're like waving back and forth, and you have to guess which one moves first? Super easy. Uh, that's what that reminded me of. A really nice looking Lotad card, actually. I don't really care. There's just so many Pokemon, they're just like, oh. Speaking of Pokemon, I come on. First pack, reverse rare Gyarados. Oh, it's so nice. And Darmanitan. I, you know what? I do, this is one of my favorite Galarian Pokemon. I love, like, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the fire Darmanitan, but there's something like, I don't know if it's nostalgia for, um, like, the old Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer stop animation or something, but I don't know. There's some, something super cool about him. Uh, let's get into this boy here. And the code. Look at that. I did it without showing myself the back of that guy. Four to the front. Let's start it off. Let's get some pulls. Come on. Water energy. Let's exchange some water energy. I like to tell the story of how I have a barber who uh, I was asking if he had cool clients and, and what it was like. And he's like, you know, you have to like the person because you're exchanging energy while you cut someone's hair. And I thought that was the weirdest thing, but it stuck with me. So we're exchanging energy right now. Positive vibes, everyone. Um, Palpatode sending out some psychedelic vibes there. Binacle? Binacle? Binacle. Binacle. I do not like that Pokemon at all. Darumaka! Again, one of my favorites. And I like how it's kind of drawn almost like a Jendi Tartakovsky, like Samurai Jack, like Burt McCracken. Like, not Burt McCracken. That's from the U's. Craig McCracken. Like, you know, Dexter's Lab, uh, Powerpuff Girls, Samurai Jack, that kind of thing. I love that art style. Maybe one of my favorite or... Maybe my favorite Vulpix card, period. Like, just exquisite art. We're going to leave that one. I'm not going to touch that with 10-foot pole. He kind of looks like a surgical glove, and I'll just say, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, very indignant-looking Galarian Farfetch'd. Hey, nice reverse Tranquil, and Mandibuzz, non-hollow. All right, fine, fine. We're, we're just saving. We're warming up. That's all. We're just warming up. We are going to get something... We're going to get something, and we're going to get something good. I know it. Boss's orders this pack, maybe. Secret rare in this thing, maybe. Something's coming. Something good is coming. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. There's a metal energy. Heracross, one of my all-time faves. Johto, I don't know if it was just like because there was a new Pokemon series on TV or something that I got so into it, but the Johto age Gen 2 Maybe my all-time favorite. I think Totodile is my all-time favorite Pokemon. Who's yours? Let me know in the comments. Uh, Capacious Bucket. A little vocab lesson for you here. Opening Pokemon cards. Turfield Stadium. Very British, eh? Oh, Turfield Stadium. It's a Clefairy. Beautiful. Like, just beautiful. Look at that. Kind of like a smudgy pastel. There's a little star piece over here. Just, like, exquisite card art. Clefairy from this set and from Unified Minds are just beautiful. Even Voltorb. 
like almost a revamp of the original again just beautiful and just like the inclusion of different colors i'm, so, I'm trying not to get too much shadow i'm really working on my lighting here um like the just the, the random subtle green and then like a little bit of blue so you just have like a little bit like such thoughtful art beautiful again growlith beautiful almost looks like uh like just anime dreepy well dreepy are you dreepy Oh, someone's dreepy. Snover has found a clue. Reverse Zaktu. I don't usually care for Zaktu all that much, but that is a beautiful card. And, hey, first hollow of the game. There we go. Dragapult. Nice looking hollow, too. Really nice art. I did not care too much for this Pokemon at the beginning, but uh, some of this art is just, ah, uh, it is changing the way I look. Beautiful. Change the way I look at Dragapult, I should say. Uh, Toxtricity. The Toxtricity of our city. Of our city. This is how you get demonetized. You keep singing copyrighted songs that no one wants to hear. Uh, here we go. Psychic Energy. Here we go. Will something to happen here with the Psychic Energy? Capture Energy. Chatot. Lovely looking card. I don't know why Chatot's included so often, but okay. Uh, Dracloak. Galarian Meowth. I hate this art. Love the Pokemon, though. I love that Meowth finally got an update. I don't care for Alolan Meowth. Alolan Persian. Eh. Perserker, though. My favorite Galarian Pokemon, bar none. Beautiful Caterpie. I don't think I've ever said that about a Caterpie card. I may never say that again. Rebel Clash is knocking it out of the park with art. Just as I say that, we have super sad Verge of Dying Corsola. Ah, Litwick. That's almost like a Hayao Miyazaki level uh, commentary on how, what we're doing to the environment, I think. So if it's a nod to Ghibli, 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 how do you say it? It's Ghibli. Um, I'm all for it. Shanks, beautiful looking Shanks. Man, the art in this. Reverse common, Mr. Mime. Oh, I see black. Oh, double V full art. My very first full art pull from Sword and Shield or Rebel Clash. This is nice. I will take it. Thank you very much. Exquisite. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I've never been so excited to see a sheep goat hybrid. Is this one for the Wiccan crowd? Maybe. Look at that. Beautiful card. Let's give her here. All right. We have, so far, I should have, uh, shouldn't, should have made better piles here so that I could save the pulls. You already know we got a holographic Dragapult. I'm going to save that over there to show them off later. Let's get back into another Toxtricity pack here. I really hope that that's not all we're getting in this ETB, um, because that would suck. I, this is only my second time ever opening up an Elite Trainer box. Uh, my first was a Unified Minds, and I think I pulled... Not the full art, just the regular Meowth or Mew and Mewtwo GX. So it was wasn't awesome, but I don't know. I, the pull rates in Rebel Clash I'm seeing so far are not fantastic. Fire Nation attacked. Uh, Phalanx. This just looks like a Mario villain. Has it been said yet by everybody? I'm pretty sure it has. We'll make sure that's in view. Focus, sorry. Uh, Masquerade in the swamp. Wow, what is going on? I shouldn't have touched that. Oh, I should not have touched that. Nugget. Ah, oh, come on, team. Don't do me like this. Let me hold this closer, and then this will come in. There we go. That's just a bronze ball. Scyther. Beautiful. Come on. Come on. Shouldn't have touched it. Beautiful Scyther card. Just loving that warm purple and, and the red in here. Oh. Nose pass. Sniffing. Oh, come on. Don't do this the whole time. Come on. There we go. Maybe I'll lock focus. Oh, we're getting everywhere today, guys. There we go. Focus is locked. Coughing. Cutting a toot again. Cutting a toot. Bronzor. Hey, that's nice. Reverse rare Aegis Slash. I haven't seen this card yet from this set. That is beautiful. I'm going to unlock focus. There we go. Oh, big shield. Have big shield. will travel. And Galarian... Runerigus. Weak. That's just a crump. That's just a... What is that? Chunks of the Berlin Wall? I don't know what that is. Is this social commentary in my Pokemon cards? 
Even though I've already applauded what could be social commentary for the environmental stuff. Oh, Billy. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place, kids. It's late. I might have screwed this up. I don't know what order I just put this back into. Okay, that's a good sign. Uh, Galar Mine. Looks like Donkey Kong. Uh, Bronzong, the big bell. Knit Metapod. Who likes these? Who Who is asking for more of these knit cards? Not me. Indignant Farfetch with his angry eyebrows. Hone Edge. Oh, little baby's Temple getting on the Sobble train. Are you trying to steal Sobble's sad thunder, Temple? Beautiful art. Guys, girls, everybody, whatever you identify as. Thanks for being here. Um, what a weird segue into thanking you for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. Gendered, nonspecific. Um, but again, whoever you are, however you are, if you love Pokemon, you're in the right place. Oh, Bolton V! Yes! Disney's Bolton V! Look at that, another full art. I'm pretty sure these are full arts because uh, they've got the, the all over shiny pattern. Look at that, two in a row, not in a row, two in one opening. That's what I'm talking about. These, these my friends are the pulls we are wanting to get. Yes. Now if we can get some type of hyper rare and or a secret rare in this ETB, I will be one, blown away, two, very happy I got my money's worth. And three, just a happy camp all together. Metal energy. Steel energy? Metal energy. Shuckle? Again, beautiful shuckle. I think they, that's reused art. Dan. This is Dan who is making me feel pretty darn good about my widow's peaks. Thanks, Dan. You look lovely. Twin energy. Galarian Mr. Mime. Snover. He's found a clue. Pidove? 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 It's a pigeon, I would assume, so it's Pidove. Again, I don't care for Pidove at all, but this art is outstanding. Darumaka, again. God, these cards are beautiful. Hatana, meh, all right. Bronzong again, and... Hey, a holographic Ice Q! The weirdest Pokemon from this set, period. I don't get it. If he enters a warm climate... Will his frickin' head melt? What a weird, weird, weird Pokemon. Is there a brain under all that ice? Like, do the designers not think about the logistics of this? This one's glued tight. That means something's good inside. It's like Fort Knox. But again, is... Like, does Ice-Q have eyes? Ice-Q, you skew, we all scream at the genuine horror that is Ice-Q. Water energy, chat hot, having a chat. Dracloak, Lampent, this is the last pack of the Elite Trainer box, and we've got three more. Stay tuned, don't go nowhere. Impidimp. Doesn't that sound like a sexual dysfunction? I'm sorry, kids, if you're watching, but come on. Huh, how did things go last night? Mm, I got the impidimp. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Oh, boy, the fan art. I mean, not the fan art, the real art. This is Phantump and the art on this. C come on. Come on, just exquisite. Dreepy. Hey, a reverse Milo. And last pack of the Elite Trainer box. Can we get a rainbow something or other? Oh, come on. <laughs> if that's not a big old middle finger, it's this angry freaking bird. So, the pulls from the Elite Trainer box... Couple of full arts, I will take them. These are beautiful cards. Bolton and Double. And now, let us get into this sweet, sweet three-pack blister pack. I probably should have opened this beforehand, but here we are doing it together. Um, folks, if you feel like seeing more of this, I would love it if you'd subscribe. I am going to have to start doing this a little more sporadically over the next little bit. I try to do every single Wednesday, but, uh, you know... Times they are changing, and it's just not feasible for me right now. There is the code for this whole thing. Um, so it's going to be a little more sporadic. So if you do subscribe, please hit the notification bell because um, then you won't miss out. I'm, I'm going to try and be back within about a month, but I, I, can't, I can't promise anything. Um, but yeah, if you want to subscribe, hit like below. I would really appreciate it. Awesome community, and I'm really loving 
This is just fun. It's just fun as heck. Um, what else is fun? My favorite, look at the rainbow effect on that. My favorite evolution, the best evolution, probably uh, Umbreon. I have, yeah, love it. Love it. Nice to see a different. Um, this is bent to heck, but whatever. It's a nice promo. Rayquaza, loving that hollow pattern. I was not liking the, the hollow pattern too much on the base set, Sword and Shield set. Um, I just wasn't a fan. It, it almost looked fake. Like, it had that weird, you know, old fake cards that you used to get, like, when you, you know, in, in the late 90s, early 2000s. Like, it's just, you oh, you know this is a fake, um, this is a fake rare or whatever kind of thing. Like, it, it had that look to it, that weird up and down matrix pattern. I don't know. I wasn't a fan. Uh, fighting energy. This has gone very yellow all of a sudden, hasn't it? Let's, there, white balance. Da blade. Da blade. Heracross. I shouldn't have touched it again. Sorry, kids. Uh, Heracross looking very menacing. Capacious bucket. That is quite a capacious bucket you have there, sir. Galarian, yeah, mask. He's no different. He just took a piece of graffiti. Applin. One of the weirdest Pokemon to come out of Galar. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. An apple in a day keeps the Leon away. Or so they say. Hey, I just may lay by the bay. I just may. Hatana. Arukuda. Glaring Meowth. Uh, ooh. I see. It's not a huge Pokemon, but man. That card art combined with the, with the reverse shininess and... Hey, there we go. Come on, phone. Thanks, Google. Shouldn't have said that. Now I'm gonna. This is never gonna get seen. Grim Snarl. He looks like a a He-Man or a Thundercats villain. All right. So so far, it's uh, the Grim Snarl show over here. This is a three-pack um, blister pack. So I'm hoping we can pull something better than just a holographic. I'm happy with the pulls anyway today, though. Uh, oops, there we go. Better than most of my videos so far because I just keep buying rubbish. See how I'm staying on topic for Galar? Absolute rubbish. I'm spitting all over my phone. Leaf energy, grass energy, take your pick. Turfield Stadium. Carcoal! What a weird... It's got wheels. Like, is it genuinely made of metal? What a strange Pokemon. Hatrem! Surskit... I don't like Surskit as a Pokemon, but seeing it with like a deeper blue, yeah, very nice. Yeah, Magikarp with super fat Pikachu in the background waving goodbye. Why would they draw, they drew Magikarp completely normal, and then they're just like, forget the details, we're going full anime on this Pikachu. All right. Uh, Meditite, just not quite meditating, he's just stretching and getting ready to meditate. We're, we're not going to talk about this one. Growlithe. Oh, exquisite. Look at that. That's like some gray poop on. Look at the... Oh. Like, if you've ever wondered, there's just no debate about the fact that Ninetales is is based on Kitsune. Like, look at that. Reverse rare Ninetales. What's in the back of this? Galarian Berserker, whatever. It's no secret rare or anything. But man, that Ninetales. Beautiful exquisite last pack let's talk about some last pack magic do you believe in magic from the last pack i do how do you like my singing you hate it join the club uh <laughs> durant with an army of durants in the background mining some energon electrode with a wink or is that easy? Oh, I don't know what's going on there. He's cutting a toot. It's some electric farting. All these ball Pokemon are farting. That's what's going on here. Rebel Clash has gas. Gas Clash or ASS. No one rides for free. Tool Scrapper. Phantump. Bronzor. Toxel. Trying to do some mind meld with you. A different Ablin. Cute. Very cute. Darumaka for the reverse. Alexio. All right, last card of the video. Let's hope it's a good one. Here we go. Oh, another one of these creamy kids. All right, well, whatever. You know, overall, not an outstanding video. We know Rebel Clash has some difficult pull rates, so we will accept this Disney character. It might just be Bolt Evolved and this goat-sheep hybrid, and we will be happy, and we will say thank you so much for watching today. Once again, from the land of polar bears and maple syrup, I love you. Have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.